Hello everyone, and welcome back. Three different ones. Uh, you know, I, just, just to be as honest as possible, I kind of panicked when prepping for this episode. Uh, for We are doing the 10th anniversary for the album uh, Pal As the Palaces Burn by right. Lamb of God. And uh, I, I've listened to this several times, and I, I, I struggled to find things to, to write about and to talk about. And uh, I, I don't, I, I don't have a lot of. I think this and uh, would this be considered just heavy metal? Let's I say. would say groove metal. Okay. Personally. Is that just kind of ha like the riffs or the drum beats? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would say like Pantera is like groove metal too. Okay. I kind of thought of Pantera when I was listening. To right. This. Yeah. Okay. There's kind of a groove to it. If that makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it does. No. But I think I'll, I'll, bet, I'll bet people <laughs> listening to this do and know more about Easy it. Easy to me. move to. Yeah. It was uh, it was it was just a struggle for me to just find things to write about. I thought that the I mean just going right into it. Uh, I, the first four tracks to me it kind of blended together a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm uh, I was I was a little worried as far as things to to say and to comment on with this one and uh i, I just so that is as long as we're getting first impressions out of the way the, those are mine what did y'all think so, so was this your first time yes. ever listening to yes. lamb of god yes yeah. yes totally new never to, heard anything by him. never even heard of the, the band before uh we we found out that this was going to be our one of the one of our episodes never heard laid to rest nope. off guitar hero never no, I was not big. I the, the guitar here. Which one? Which that was on it? two, right? Yeah, I, I, I think remember, it was on two. I remember okay. that song being on there. I could. I can't remember how it goes really. Yeah, I think that was on there. But I definitely heard the name Lamb of God, like uh, probably in middle school or something. Mm -hmm. Like there was. A That's about when Ashes in the Wake came out, which is that album that has Way to Rest on it. That's a great. <laughs> uh, Ashes like, in the Wake. Yes, I know. That is it's a great name. Yes, yeah. for, an, for any album. I think honestly. this is the second, second or third album for them. Okay. I think it's the second. I'm pretty Let's sure. See. I tried to find second. They, so, yeah. So it was originally released in 2003. Yes. And then they re-released it. Right. Uh, yeah, the was, remaster is a lot. Better. Okay. I yeah. tried to find out why they did that and was unsuccessful. I don't know. You, to be honest, I, I have no clue. Have you heard? I, I think I got the 2013 version. I, I that's yeah. It's a lot. This sounds a lot better. Okay. I think. That's usually the reason that you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured that the band didn't like the. <laughs> yeah. I, I just couldn't find out like what it was about it that they were concerned with. So like oftentimes with early stuff, like when they didn't have a lot of money, yeah, mm -hmm. they'll do like a reissue or. If it was popular. And also if they extent. think it'll sell. Yeah, like, true. Sometimes kind of repackaging and giving true. the fans some new stuff to check out. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. This was a... Uh... I'll say this to preface. Okay. This is my favorite Lamb of God album. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Have you heard both versions? The... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this one, the 2013 Way is better? better. Okay. Yeah. I believe you. Just the sounds real, like, sterile on the first one. Hmm. All right. Any uh, any particular reason this one's your favorite for this band? It's just from start to finish, it never lets up, mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> like I mean, there's it's that's one thing with this album. Like if you don't like this, you're gonna absolutely hate it because it's just consistent from the minute it starts to the mm -hmm. minute it ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you like this, then I think you would love this. Okay. Okay. So very polarizing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you're you're kind of the metal guy of the group, Definitely. like, um, so I I was kind of with Stefan on like I don't know, you know how much I can say from track to track. Mm -hmm. um, I mean it, parts of it reminded me of Death a little bit. Okay. Um, kind of I feel like the difference was like Death had that kind of proggy. I was going to say that I, this to me is way less technical. Definitely. And it's just straight four four. Right, right, but like the the riffs and like the tone and stuff, yeah, um, kind of sure. come from the same like school. Like you said, Pantera was maybe an influence. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what else could have been an influence on these guys. 
I'd say any of that early earlier stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you got to think they started out as Burn the Priest was the band mm -hmm. in the early nineties. Yeah, so it would have been I have fairly close right to here. Uh, actually ninety nine is when their first album came out. Gotcha. Burn the Priest. Gotcha. They, they could have okay. been going for a long time. Gotcha. Um, I think the first song was probably my favorite on the Ruin. album. Really? Yeah. 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 That's top three for me. Yeah. Yeah. Of theirs. I just thought it was strong, like cool riff. Mm -hmm. um, they're good players. Like they're really good at what they do. Um, Mark Morton's got a signature with Jackson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, so pretty unique body. Like it doesn't look like anything else that they make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not like a flying V. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, no sharp angles to it. Not at all. I want to look it up. Yeah. Just no, for it's, fun. it's pretty good looking. What's his name? Mark Morton. Okay. <laughs> I I love Ruin. A super powerful intro riff. Just guns blazing right yeah. out of the gate. Yeah. You get your first taste of Randy. The speed on change. Vocals, just, the, <laughs> the what? The speed change near the end really threw me off. Yeah. I thought it got kind of choppy, and I thought we were changing songs. I was, yeah. I was surprised that the, I thought they were just gonna hit it with speed uh, and all the way. Through. I don't know if you guys noticed this. This is consistent on this album, and honestly, with a lot of Lamb of God songs, between like two and a half minutes to two minutes forty seconds in like every song, <laughs> is when they like go to this like interlude breakdown kind of thing yeah i mean just like yeah, recipe i was gonna ask is this is that a breakdown at the end of this yeah yeah so yeah. like there's a part of two two minutes and 40 seconds where just like all hell breaks loose and then mm -hmm. from there it goes into the like mm -hmm. like halftime yeah yeah the, the breakdown yeah yeah um like the dual channel guitars too where mm -hmm. it's just like single channel like during the verse and then when they both come in it's just like Whoa. yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and the, the vocal... <laughs> I had to be careful with the headphones on this one yeah it was very powerful um the vocalist reminded me of the guy from death a little bit just yeah kind of i his, could see that scream a little I... more polished yeah I like think. yeah bly bly mm -hmm. just bly randy bly sounds like a like a brick or something <laughs> <laughs> Did he learn to sing in prison? <laughs> you, Travis mentioned that's, that's that a, before we started recording. Oh, right. That Bly had been in prison. You didn't say what Overseas it was. in, uh, oh, where was it? Devil's Island. <laughs> in France. Randy Bly in prison. Let me see. It's been I don't want to tell you the wrong place. Yeah, the manslaughter case in the Czech Republic. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Did he hit someone with a car? Mm, I think a fan died at one of their shows or oh. something and like he got blamed for it or Shit. something. Like there was some kind of connection to it. I saw something in the Wikipedia. Yeah, and they like held him overseas. Oh my or... gosh. Oh yeah. That's cool. That was back in thirteen, I think. Yeah. I would have I mean, did he do something to hurt the fan or is There this you just... go. So it was proven that he had thrown this guy off stage and had thus had moral responsibility for the guy's death. However, due to the circumstances, he was not held criminally <clears throat> liable, and most of the blame lay with promoters and security members. Yeah, that's tricky. Like, I, that's, oh, that very the trial was documented yeah. in the film as the palaces burn, which was thirteen, which was the tenth anniversary, mm. which would have been the re-release. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I'd love to see that. There I'll you go. Yeah. Man. Crazy. Yeah, that's that's an unfortunate thing. That is terrible. It's like my biggest fear is getting imprisoned yeah. overseas. Mm. Yeah. Like in a place I don't understand the laws or like... For something you know what I mean? really sure. like... <laughs> it's got to be scary. Really like controversial too. Yeah. Right? It's like oh yeah. Sort of a... Where it's not black or... and white. Yeah. 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 It's just kind of like this terrible <clears throat> thing where you... Right. Really sort of involved second hand yep. yeah that's yeah sticky situation yeah so you you didn't love ruin it, it just uh <laughs> the the speed changes were and i think um the the, the guitar part Ooh. in in that kind of carried over into as the palaces burn mm -hmm. and i kept hearing right it in the it. rhythm yeah. section and also in like 
in purified, and I heard a little bit in the 11th hour too, that yep. my guitar would be that, that quick strum and then just a few little notes, and I just kept hearing that again and again, and it really, it really wasn't until For Your Malice that I, I really started to like some of the, like the, the, the band sound to it. I, gotcha. I love, I, when we get to track five, I yep. got more to say. Okay. That. that was just, it just took me a while to get into the album, and uh, that's my least favorite song. For your mouth, you mm -hmm. don't like it. I wasn't a huge fan of the year. <laughs> really? Yeah. We'll get to it. We'll but, get to it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That's funny. No, I, I think I thought Ruin was a, a great opener. Yeah. And it was. I, I thought it was Comes interesting out choice to almost slow it down a little near the end. Yeah. But I, as far Break as down. Yes. Yeah, you know, as far as <laughs> opening, I mean. It's, and then it just right this, into As yeah. the Palaces Burn. Yeah. Which I, I wasn't a huge fan of As the Palaces yeah. Burn. Agreed. I thought it was just kind of an annoyingly fast, that kind of choppy, real shreddy solo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The solo in the first song was actually pretty cool. Yeah, I, I love Ruined. I, I didn't so expect that like... style of guitar playing like on this right. album. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the second one, a lot of pinch harmonics. Yes. Yeah. Kind of squealy sounds. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just put kind of annoying fast song. <laughs> put metal onslaught. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, purified. That's a cool riff. So that yeah, the, I like that the guitar started off on its own. That mm -hmm. features cool. Chris Poland, who is my favorite guitar player. Really? He's the guy that did the solo in that. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was the guitar player for Megadeth and Peace Cells. Wow, mm -hmm. Chris Poland. Yep. Have you short lived in in Megadeth? But yeah. He's still around? He's yeah. Still oh, yeah. Okay. Had you heard of him before? Weird Only style. through uh, Travis. I, yeah, okay. I, I don't know how he ended up on this or why. Like, I, that was so random to me that they picked him. He's awesome. Yeah. Regardless of yeah. so why. He's really good. Yeah, they must have just been big fans. I like. guess, yeah. Yeah, because I read something, too. I think on Ashes in the Wake, they had the, uh, oh, what's his name? Alex, I think, the guitar player from Testament did like a solo on a song too okay. which tells me they were probably big thrash fans it's probably a big influence mm -hmm. for them because those are both like big four kind of thrash bands yeah yeah it's i guess the last metal album that we did on here was uh was it Iron Symbol oh yeah the and I, I feel like these guys probably were not influenced by that I feel like every metal band's influenced by Maiden to yeah. some extent, yeah. but really, I would say so. Yeah, they're not that. I would hard say everybody though, would like... cite Priest and Maiden okay. and Ozzy. Okay, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just as kind of like a rite of passage. Like, yeah, yeah. Whether they were heavily or not, I think they would mm -hmm. be somewhere in there. But yeah, no, I, I agree. I, very, if this there is, is any influence, this is much angrier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can understand what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. We, I'm just looking up lyrics quite a that's bit. That's the key. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the key. What, yeah. Anything uh, stand out? No. Yeah. Not particularly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I just wrote like angry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, Aggressive. Yep. Yeah. The aggression. Rage. Rage. Rage in from Bly. Yeah. Just brutal. Purified yeah, of yeah. a brutal riffage. There was a little bit of weird odd timing. He's in still the singing for them. And still sounds like that. That's amazing to me. I have he no is, idea how. Like, right, not a, hadn't missed a beat. Right from Ruin, he is hitting the back of his throat, and it just makes me like, I had to drink so much water. I think fry, fry vocals is what they call it. Oh. It's vocal fry? Yeah. Think, or like yeah. false chords? It's yeah. one of the two. Mm. There's false chords and vocal fry. Yeah, because vocal fry is also like a speech affect that like, all, they say a lot of like, uh, millennials do. Okay. I, I I wish I could do it. Nah. It's just when people are like, ah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I always think of like Marilyn Manson when I think of vocal fry. Mm. Like that's. Is that how he talks? Just like, ah. Or like things. when he does oh, his like screamy, close. screechy yeah. stuff, it's yeah. like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah. terrible. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, Anything. 11th you? hour. I, I didn't have. Much but brutal again, just relentless. Yeah, just, like you said, the first four they just don't stop. Yeah, it's just they kind of blended. 
for me. Balls mm -hmm. out yeah. from start yeah. to finish. I could see that. I'd like sure. to. That, that I think. I think ruins the standout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. For sure. But definitely. yeah, I, I could see how those would blur. I think that's why, um, for your malice, why I responded well to it. Because it really felt like it was breaking into something different. Yeah. I, I really just enjoyed the guitar riffs. And yeah. they just. It really, you talked about it devolving the sound yeah. at the end of Ruin. This one, I had blender of noise and screaming <laughs> near the end. It did not sound great, but I kind of liked it. Yeah. It was just kind of. Something different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. And I was, uh, oh God, there were. There were there were times listening to a uh, symbolic, yeah. which I which I really did enjoy, where I kind of lost track of what song I was on, right? Because I I don't I don't keep like Spotify or how, iTunes or however I'm listening to it open. I just yeah. let the album go and mm -hmm. stuff down, so mm -hmm. I, I missed the transitions to different uh, tracks, and that was I I don't know. Maybe it's just I I. I I mean, you two still listen to like CDs where the changeovers are very, very noticeable, right. and that's that's why I kind of. This like, seems like gap was. Yes. <laughs> yeah, some for of them sure. I feel like run into the. Yeah. Game. Oh yeah. The for first sure. four. For yeah. Sure, and... The way some of them are set up. Absolutely. Yeah. I listened to some in the car, and yeah, I fell into that where I was like, oh, we're on song four. Yeah. <laughs> for your malice, it was a it was a change of pace, and yeah, uh, yeah I I, I kind of I, I liked it. It was doing something different, and that's. That's why I. That's why I liked it. Would you guys think, like, rhythm section wise, like the drums and bass throughout this stuff? I thought the drummer was really Chris Adler. Crazy. He's ridiculous. Yeah. He is. Yeah. Like a lot of ride symbol. Like that tons really stands out. of ride and just bell. Yeah, you know? I, I like that yeah. too. It, it doesn't seem super like metal. And I've always thought he had like a real like fluid double bass. Mm. You know, yeah. like. Not just like all mathematic yeah, and like yeah. just real like liquidy, which kind of yeah. reminds me of Vinnie Paul, like mm. uh, from. Sorry, dogs okay. coming in here. <laughs> what what um? Vinnie Paul from Pantera. I always thought he had like a real liquid, like like a lot of different speed changes, like yeah. within like a a fill or something. It's, uh, it's probably uh, maybe the way that it's mic'd, sort of. Like, yeah, true. I feel like a lot of bad like double bass sound nowadays is probably triggered. Just, yeah, yeah. That Where too. there's like no, I I would say it's the difference between like active and passive guitar pickups, like the articulation mm. that you get from passive pickups. Yeah, you yeah. know where like. Uh, active's like super gained up, mm. and it just like pulls all the like nuances of the sure. Sure. You know, how hard you're picking and stuff like that. I feel like triggers do that too. Yeah, yeah. It's just like if you make contact, it's going to sound the same as if you drill yeah. it or if you tap it. Super uh, compressed. Yeah. Yes. yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's, I love his sound. And oddly enough, he played drums on a Megadeth album down the road. <laughs> yeah. Like almost a decade down the road. Damn. Yeah. And his brother is the other guitar player. Really? Besides Mark Morton. Yeah. Okay. The Adler brothers. Wait, so, okay, so the drummer's brother is the guitar player? Yeah, one of the guitar players. Okay, yes. okay. Yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, boot scraper was the one that I wrote angry next. That to. thresher of noise carries right in. Yeah, and it's I just... love Chris Adler, the drummer's fills in the middle of this, like mm. how he just like and just like attack the hell out of the bell on the ride. Yeah, yeah. Just, like so fast. Yeah, it's so random. Yeah. That have you seen them live? I'm seeing them live. Oh. I have not. I'm seeing yeah. them with Megadeth. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Where are you? in a uh, couple months. Um, I want to say at Toyota Music Factory, mm, I think. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yep. They'll be there. Nice, nice. Good to see them. But Chris left the band. Yeah. I don't know if he came back or not. I was reading something he was talking about, like, just Lamb of God being a toxic environment. Huh. Yeah. I thought so, that was interesting. They seemed like pretty chill dudes. Yeah, I know. I was like, I wonder how. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Boy, the uh, I I had kind of by by boot scraper. I had kind of grown accustomed to a uh, Bly's vocals. Yeah. 
on Devil in God's Country, he sounded like a freaking bullfrog trying <laughs> to thrash. It is just this crow. Of this I bull. love, I <laughs> loved like his vocal cadence in that. I was like, I, it, it was almost kind of like a rap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it was like real quick delivery, and mm. I don't know. I, I loved it. It's just love the intro. Couldn't take hurt. the bullfrog. Uh, no, it was it just it just hurt. I mean, it's it's impressive, and I actually kind of liked the song. Dude, but watch just... him do it live, and he has like no neck strain. <laughs> crazy so it's just totally just total pro at it yeah. and... you'd have to be to not he, be yeah fried after two decades of doing that he's definitely got his breathing in and mm -hmm. he's getting it from the diaphragm <laughs> they did a live stream during covid and he shot his part from inside his closet wow. there's like clothes all around him and he's got wow. like his whole mic set up he's just singing in the closet is it like a walk-in closet yeah it's a okay. walk-in okay. closet okay. with like all his shirts and everything i'm picturing him with like the like the bar behind him right like his coat <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, in defense of our good name i had a question mark next to this one yeah i i, I listened to it about 10 times and I brutal just, right I, out yeah, of the gate i just I couldn't think kind of, of back to that first four songs. Couldn't think of anything original to say about yeah. it. It was just it was just, just rolls right in with those yeah. first couple. Yeah. Uh, anybody got? Yeah, what well, a huge one? fan of that one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, I'm good going to Blood Junkie. I was gonna say I, I ran out of time to take notes on Blood Junkie and Vigil, but those are my two favorite songs. Mm -hmm. I put Ruin at three for me, but those are they've always been my two favorites from this album. Yeah. It just Virgil, I think, Gun to Head is number one for me. Yeah. I, I love that it's the finishing song, and it I, I thought goes. it was my favorite one. Oh, so. yeah. But I, I like the, um, <laughs> the Blood Junkie had some streakier guitar. I love than I Blood thought Junkie and the play. drums in that, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like right around the, I think it's around two and a half minutes right in. Yeah, yeah, oh it was. My. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it just goes so hard. I, I thought of uh, just so, some of these songs, especially Bootscraper, remind me of, remember those like RuneScape PK videos that would go up on YouTube like in the mid-2000s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they still go put, up. Put like a backing track to it. It's like... Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just like... Super intense music. Oh, yeah. Like the least, least intense game. Right. Super long. pixely like sword. Like, oh, yeah. Right but, just rune two hand, just one strike every five seconds. <laughs> I just, I just, had, music just had to bring that up before we, before we ended. Um, hey, this was 03. Yeah, yeah it's this perfect. might have been on some PK Maybe they videos, are. Yeah, some PK was. montages. I bet it was. Boot scraper. Um, yeah, I love Blood Junkie. That's is it, is top it Virgil five. or Vigil? Vigil. Okay. Vigil. Oh, I had Virgil. I, 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 I couldn't read my handwriting. Okay. But it... The intro reminds me of a lot of metal songs, yeah. like kind of the quintessential, like kind of ballady metal. Yeah, thing. I love the dramatic opening. Yeah, yeah. loved it. Yeah, I loved I'd say it. that song has the most dynamics out of anything on the album. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like kind of you feel that groove metal sense like throughout mm -hmm. the first half of it. I would say. Yeah, like those riffs are kind of slow and grimy, mm -hmm. and, you know, but then that mid part. Oh my gosh! And then it just. About a oh, minute in, you man. just you, you you get the you get the nice reminder <laughs> of who you're listening to. Right, I love it. And then it just goes crazy from there. Mm -hmm. No, strong I think, finish for sure. I think yeah, that's a hell whether of a finish. You, whether you like the album or no, you got it. You have to give them that. I think it's the strongest track on the album. Vigil. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'd say Vigil. Then I'm torn between Ruin or Blood Junkie. Mm. I'd put one of those two next, and I don't know which. Okay. But I always those three I cycle through them regularly. Yeah. Yeah, short album like yeah. a, a nice just yeah. digestible. Of, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't think it needed to go on any longer. Yeah, like, did not overstay its welcome. Yeah, yeah, and that's it's it's good to hear because I could see how this would be very abrasive to somebody that doesn't like yeah. this kind of stuff. Yeah. So hearing that it was right of tolerable duration. That's, oh yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I surprisingly like. Um, you know, I wouldn't say, like, I liked this album. Didn't but, hate it as yeah, much as you yeah, thought you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of like Death was for me, yep. where it was like, it's very different than what I usually like, but, like, it's it's interesting. Like, yep. it's it's really well done for uh, the genre. 
Um, so like I enjoyed this probably more than like the Maiden album. Um, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that surprised me a lot. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. I think too for a second album. I mean, for this, like, it's He's iconic for this genre. Like, I would almost consider them, for, like, actual heavy, heavy groove metal, like, mm -hmm. pioneers, next to Pantera. Um, mm -hmm. Have you heard their debut album? Yeah. You, you like this one more? I do. Okay. It's just a little more polished, a little more groove to it. The first one is, like, it's very in your face. I mean, it, it's not bad. It's just... I think they get better with time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I really like this one, and then the few that come after are pretty solid. I think Ashes in the Wake is most people's favorite. Mm. I'd say that's probably the undisputed peak. Mm -hmm. Sacrament's good. There's they've got some good stuff. Well, What'd you think overall? Um, I don't. <laughs> I listened to this one probably, I think I probably listened to it more than I should have, mm -hmm. just because I was so worried about not having enough to say. I think I gotta give this one like a, a week or two without thinking about it, mm -hmm. and then listening to it again before I'm ready to say it. I, as Initial as, impression, what do you give it? Oh, probably like a five or six okay. out of ten, because there were individual songs that I like, so I'm not gonna you know, hit it lower than a 50, but... Right. On the whole, I, th those first four songs blended in too yeah. much for me, and I kind of I kind of downgrade it for that. And uh, I mean, I know I knew what kind of music this was. I Bly's voice kind of grated on me just a little bit. Sure. But may maybe maybe that'll change going back to it. Yeah. But yeah, I would. Uh, I'd say you like it or you don't. Okay. <laughs> I might not it like grew it. on me. I hated it. Like yeah. when I the first Lamb of God song I heard was "Laid to Rest" on Guitar Hero, oh. and I hated it. Really? Hated it. Yes. Like could never get into them. Couldn't stand it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know what got me there, but at some point in time, I got there, Taste and then I grew to really like it. So I, it's not going to take you a week. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad I listened to it. I. I feel like um, anybody that I would recommend this to would have heard it by the time I recommend it to. Like, I feel like most metal fans, if you're into the heavier sound, you 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 know who Lamb of God is. You probably heard at least some of these songs. Yeah, so. I was gonna say I don't know about the album though. Like oh, really? this, I would say very few people would say this is their favorite Lamb of God album. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I, as far as the I general, never hear it as. A favorite. As far as the general mm -hmm. music fan, I, I don't know if I recommend it to them. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, this was I'm, I, this is so outside of my knowledge base <laughs> and comfort zone that I'm always happy to listen to stuff yeah. like that. Awesome. So yeah. Graham. I'm glad uh, you put it on your list. I, I'd probably put it right around where you did, like yeah, five or six. Like it's it's not my thing. I'm probably not going to go back to it. Um, you know, would recommend to metal fans. Uh, particularly fans of heavy, angry, um, you know, screamy, or n not screw, what would you call that? Growling? E I guess. Just, just demon singing? Right. I don't know. It, to me, he's got such a iconic sound. Like, it's easy mm. to pick him out. Yeah. Like, Why? amongst, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I know that sounds kind of weird, but yeah. I think if it's, you've heard enough, it's very you know. distinctive compared sure. to like other. Sure. Okay. Um, but yeah, that that's that's better yeah. for me. Okay. What are I you think I, You still love it? I'm gonna give it an eight. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I think if you're into this stuff, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Like it. I mean, just riff wise, drum wise, like Chris Adler is, I would say, one of the best. And what he does in this genre and then randy is i'd say most people in like so technically i think some people consider them to be metalcore uh, i don't know about that mm. <laughs> the metal I, tree has I think so many subgenres 
was. I'm amazed. I Don't think it's just cheap. a little heavier than I. I just hate putting them with the term core. But I think it. I think people that like metalcore or deathcore would like Lamb of God. I think that's who I would recommend this to. Okay. For sure. Say that guy's last name was Adler. Adler. Jim Adler. Yeah. No, is he I'm getting related to the <laughs> Don't don't you do it. We're not giving him free air time. <laughs> okay, I, yeah. Uh, it is not hammer time on this I podcast. can't tell you how many Jim Adler signs I saw driving to Louisiana. Yep. <laughs> Still your stupid voice. Oh my god. Hammer. It's got his son. Texas weird. hammer, man. Yep. Texas. Anywho. And on that yeah. note, thank you so much. If you're still with us, thank you so much for stopping by. We have been three different ones. Feel free to like, subscribe, share this video. And if you have an album you'd like us to cover, just drop it in the comments and we will add it to our ever-expanding list. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.